All right, guys, so today we're going to look at a problem that says, yesterday, I found $824. Yes! I decided to split the money between the next three people that I saw. Um, so it's important to know this word split. We're going to be splitting up into groups. How much money will each person get? Well, if we're going to be splitting up 824 into three groups, we might find really quickly that we're just going to take 824 and divide by three figure out how much each is going to get. Now, I've already set that up, 824 divided by 3. Now, remember from before, that just means we're splitting up 824 into three groups. Now, we're going to start with the hundreds place, then the tens place, and then the ones place. And I put lines under each of those at the top. Now, first starting off, if I have eight hundreds and I have three groups, that tells me that, yeah, I can definitely put a hundred into each group because if I put a hundred into each group, that would only be 300s, which means that I can actually put more than 100 into each group. Um, because if I put another 100, 100 into each group, that would only be 600. I can't, though, put a third 100 into each group because that would be 900. So I know I can put 200s into each group. That's going to be 600 that I'm using with 200s left over. And I'm going to bring down my 10s. Now this tells me then that I have 22 tens that I can um, break into groups. Remember before I told you to, um, sometimes we need to write down multiples of our, um, of the number that we are dividing by. Um, so I'm gonna do that until I get something close to uh, 22. And remember these are our multiples, so that's one, that's two, that's three, that's four, that's five, that's six, that's seven, and so forth. So if I have 22 tens and I have only three groups, I can definitely put some tens into each group. You'll notice as we go down here, we see this number 21. It's as close as we can get to 22 tens. Um, and that's the seventh multiple. So I know that I could put seven tens or 70 into each group. Um, I'm going to do that. 70. And that would be 21 tens. And I still have one 10 left over. But I can't put that 10 yet into each group because I only have one and there's three groups. And I'm going to bring down my ones place, which is a four. Um, I have three groups and I need to split 14 up. You'll notice that 12 is the closest that we can get, which would be four ones in each group. Four times three is, let me write this over here, 12. And we're going to subtract and we'll get two. Now, the really important thing here is that you're going to notice that I have uh, an answer of 274. Now, that means that each person, if we remember back to our problem, it said how much will each person get? We know that each person is going to be able to get $274. But we really got to think, and this is going to happen a lot, about what to do with this. This two left over isn't just two, but rather $2. $2 left over. This we call our remainder. And a lot of times you'll see it written like this, remainder of two. We always have to realize what is the remainder representing. In this case, it's representing $2. Now, what do we do with that $2, and why can't we split it up? First off, the reason we can't split it up is because there are three people, but only $2. So if we want it to be equal and fair, we can't give a dollar to two of those people because the third one will be sad. Um, we could, though, break it maybe into smaller pieces, or we could just give it away to somebody else. So there's different options about how we could break that up. But the big thing is we got to realize what it is that we're talking about. So when you get a remainder, make sure that you realize what does it mean? What is it talking about? And then you got to think about what are we going to do with that thing that is left over? 